Hey guys, I wanted to go over this CCT issue that a couple people are having, which is loading a parameter specifically on a fader and not getting the results that they expect. And I think it's simply because faders have a lot of configuration options. So to get it what you want it to do, there's a couple things that you may need to adjust, okay? So let's go over this. So if I go to faders, you can see I have my cream source vortex just intensity right here on a LTP fader, okay? So this is just intensity you can see right behind me and this is what's controlling this, right? Everything in this look is set to 3200, right? And when I go ahead and load up this same fixture right here, with the parameter of color temperature, yes, it says 2200 to 15,000 because that is ultimately the range of color temperature. However, every fader starts off in additive mode. So it is only going to add to whatever the background value is at, right? So like if I save this, now if I adjust this color temperature fader, you can see it's only gonna add, and here, let me just keep this up so we can see it. It's going to add to 3200, goes all the way up. And if I come all the way back down, it's going to go all the way back down to 3200, right? And this is, uh, if I, just to make this more clear, if I go ahead and take off auto stop so that the fader's always in control of it. Now, if I click save, okay, and I bring this all the way up and then bring this all the way down, the fader still has control of it even at its base level 3200. Now you're asking, wait, why didn't it go to 2200? Well, that's not the way an additive fader works, right? You want it to be non-additive in that case. So if we were to go ahead and just take this and uncheck additive, okay, it's gonna turn this off, uh, rightly so. Okay, now if I go up, it's going, it's jumping to the value, the base value, the entire range, okay? So now if I go all the way up to 15,000, go all the way down, that's how you hit 2200, okay? That is probably what you're looking for. So it's, a, it's an additive versus a non-additive uh, fader type thing. The other way to do this with an additive fader is simply saving the Q value as the base value, 2200. Then you're adding to that value and taking it away. So there you go.